In May 2016, when Apple CEO Tim Cook met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi, he spoke about the possibilities of manufacturing and retailing in India in line with the country's Make in India push. The following year, the 2.5 trillion dollar American tech giant started its manufacturing in India with a budget iPhone SE model via contract manufacturer Wistron when the phone was already more than a year old. Since then, Apple has also enlisted Foxconn and Pegatron to make iPhones locally while reducing the gap between the launch of a new model in India and its manufacture here. So the iPhone 11 started rolling out of factories here in July 2020, 10 months after the launch. The iPhone SE 2020 started coming out within 3 to 4 months of its launch. while the production of iPhone 12 started within a lag of less than 6 months. The first batches of the latest iPhone 14, which was announced early this month, will be made in India by late October or November, reducing the gap with China to just 2 months. China's stringent lockdowns to control the spread of COVID-19 has disrupted electronics manufacturing and global supply chains. Its increase in political tensions with the US is making businesses adopt the China plus one strategy of diversifying production away from Asia's biggest economy. Countries like India, Vietnam and Mexico have been the beneficiaries of this move. On September 12th, US publication The Information reported that Google parent Alphabet is considering moving some production of Pixel phones to India. Bloomberg recently reported that Tata Group is in talks with Wistron to establish a joint venture to assemble iPhones in India. If finalized, Tata would be the first Indian company to build iPhones. Pegatron and Foxconn plants are located in Tamil Nadu, while Vistron's factory is in Karnataka. Local demand in India, the world's second biggest smartphone market, has played some role in Apple's decision to expand manufacturing capacity here. This is bolstered by the production-linked incentive scheme for smartphone manufacturing. All three Taiwanese Apple suppliers making iPhones in India are covered under the PLI scheme. While Apple has a negligible share in India's overall smartphone market, it is the top-selling brand with about 60% share in the ultra-premium segment, which includes smartphones priced at 45,000 rupees and above. In the affordable premium segment, that is phones priced between 30,000 and 45,000 rupees, Samsung held the top spot, closely followed by Apple. Overall, Apple had a 3% smartphone market share in the April to June quarter, up from 1% a year ago. In FI22, Vistron and Foxconn helped the company export phones worth 10,000 crore rupees. This year, Apple's partners in India are expected to export 11 to 12 million iPhones, up from 7.5 million last year. Its third vendor, Pegatron, started local assembly in April. PLI incentive has been a, a key factor for Apple partners to set up their factories in India and exports as well. So they are not just not just manufacturing for the local demand, but for exports as well. Uh, you know, to take on China, it's 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 quite difficult. China has a locally developed ecosystem of supply chain and all. For further localization and for further you know production to increase, we have to have a local ecosystem as well, the whole supply chain, and that will take some time. So we are seeing that. Uh, Multiple companies, uh, multiple component companies are setting up shops here, setting up factories here. You can say next four five years we can have increased local uh, value addition. The next inflection point will be when uh, big component names will be in India. So more value addition in India. First that thing, uh, those things happen, and then we can see slowly and slowly that yeah, uh, these uh, iPhone Pro and Pro Max these get manufactured in India. And, and so right now what is happening is you are importing all the things and you are assembling here. So that what you are saving is on labor cost and um, you know the assembling costs, but the real component costs are still you are still importing on that. So those things will come here, and then local procurement starts. Local uh, you know uh, local procurement of component starts, and then we can uh, the scale is like the sky is the limit. Made in India units will meet 85% of the local demand for iPhone, touching record highs in 2022 against just 10 to 15% last year. Further, Indian factories are expected to make 5 to 7% of all iPhones sold globally this year. In 2021, India's contribution stood at a little over 3%, and the number was less than 1.5% in 2020. On the other hand, China's contribution is expected to drop to 93.5% this year from 95.8% in 2021 and 98.2% in 2020. While the local value addition with respect to iPhones is currently 18-20%, to this is set to go up. Tata Electronics, which has a manufacturing facility in Tamil Nadu, has been reportedly working with Apple to design and manufacture mechanical parts for the iPhone for nearly two years. This could help Apple increase the value addition of the iPhone 
by around 5 to 6 percent. Once the experiment is successful, Tata's could become a key player in Apple's large global supply chain, which is concentrated in China. Today, manufacturers essentially save on customs duty and enjoy the labor arbitrage provided by India because when smartphones are assembled here, a majority of the components are still imported. A steadily growing local supply chain will help global players increase local procurement, enabling them to save on not just labor costs, but also component import-related costs. As India develops a strong component ecosystem in the coming years, it will transform into a viable export hub and position itself as the next China in this sector. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.